Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. I found her. I, I'm here. She tried to run away, but I found her. That's not true. Uh, so I, I went and watched The Little Mermaid because my daughter wanted to. Yeah, she did. That's a whole other video. Anyway. It's a whole other video. So we're going we're gonna to talk about audiences running away from Indiana Jones. And this is much, much worse than I thought it was going to be. Apparently, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is only going to open to around 60 million. That's the current estimate. That is the current estimate. Yikes. That is, that's a yikes. That well, again, is, it's early. It's it's kind of early though because it doesn't come out to the end of the month. Yeah, but they you know they track these things and they actually dropped it I think before it was going to open much higher than that. And uh, look, it's got a fifty percent rotten score on Rotten Tomatoes right now. People said that this movie is completely unnecessary. Yeah. And uh, you know I think that's just kind of the feeling that everybody has, especially after Crystal Skull and Crystal Skull opened to over a hundred million. Back in the day. Well, that's because people didn't know better then. They didn't know better. <laughs> so they didn't so. know they were going to ruin everything. So this is, uh, I mean, if this isn't the end of Indiana Jones, this might be the end of the Indiana Jones franchise just based on the box office numbers. But you know, it makes me sad. Like, I can't explain it. Like, I was, when I was in the movie yesterday, and they were running, like, the big Disney with the 100 mm. at the beginning, I actually, like, was ready to cry because I was, like, so angry because it's, like, you know what? It used to be something I'd be so excited about, and it's, like, they t they took all that away. Like, the, the bad decisions. Indiana Jones. I love Indiana Jones. I've always said often that he always reminded me of my dad for whatever reason. And, you know, the last movie, I was, like, what the heck is that? It made me sad. But now this one what I've seen of it and what I'm hearing about it makes me even more sad. And I know at this point I shouldn't even care. I should just remove myself and detach myself completely, but I can't help it. It makes me sad because if you grew up with this stuff and you know what it was yeah, and you see what it is, you know, sometimes it's better left as it was and remembered how it was and not try to change it and not, you know, definitely not lower it with this shit. This belongs in a museum. That's right. That's, uh, you know. It, it, it's historical film. It needs to stay that way. And yeah. they, they keep trying to make more money out of it. And it's just. We're going to talk about this uh, kind of uh, Indiana Jones ending with a whimper instead of a bang. It already had an ending in 1989 with The Last Crusade. We did not need Kingdom no. of the Crystal Skull. We did not need this movie. He wrote off. He knew he was going to have more adventures. He didn't need to see him no. older. No. And you sure as hell don't need to see him, like, demeaned all the time by some punk-ass bitch who just shows up and, like, I'm the goddaughter. You're just a relic of the past, you old man. Thank God I'm here to save you from history, save history from you. Yeah, you know, if this movie had had uh, started production now instead of, like, five or six years ago, you know they would have called Short Round in instead of her. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the one rumor, by the way, oh. is that he's going to be the one that they're going to base the, the new the new show off of. That They're talking about doing a, a spinoff Indiana Jones show for Disney+. Plus. Was never going to be Indiana Jones, but it was going to be spin derivative of the movie. And the rumor currently is they're going to make a new show with Short Round. Yeah, because he won an Academy Award. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's but they would have ignored him five years ago. They, they would have worked. totally ignored him. He was what was he working? It was like an accountant or something. Like he was, you know. Anyway, we're we're gonna talk about this. They ignored him for the two other movies. Like he just didn't exist. He was never mentioned. Um, he wasn't a book, I guess, so. But we'll, we'll talk about it. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Geeky's woohoos are much better than mine. So, yeah, this is coming from Deadline, guys. This isn't this isn't some alt-right rag. Indiana Jones and the Doll of Destiny to ring up only around 60 million opening. Here's why. Oh, we all know why. We all know why. We all know why. And somehow Kathleen Kennedy will keep her job. So, I don't want to get it. Uh, yeah, I know, right? I want a job like that. You get paid that much money, you can fuck it up all the time, and you still get to keep your job, and then they, and they, and they like, cover for you? Well, hot damn, sign me up. Kathleen Kennedy's been getting fired for eight years now. That's it's true, though. Depending on what YouTubers you talk to, she should have been fired, like, several times by now. It's a long, drawn-out process. They're just trying to get the paperwork through HR, right? Yeah. Um, so in the wake of the world premiere of the lackluster film reviews, the world premiere for Indiana Jones and Dial of Destiny. It's currently looking at only 60 million plus domestic opening. The movie opens on June 30th, heading into what is conceivably a five day play period given Independence Day falls on a Tuesday. So uh, now we've got they're five days. They're going to go for five days. Five it's day weekend. Success because in five days it made, it made, you know, 80 million and we expect it to make 60 and three. It's a win. It's a win, guys. Dial of Destiny's three day is down from the 100.1 three-day uh, oh, total of the last movie. 
Uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, again, we didn't know better back then. We thought, well, they wouldn't make another Indiana Jones movie unless they, they had a reason gonna, to. We didn't know they were going to nuke the fridge. We didn't know they were going to nuke the fridge. And bring in aliens. And bring in aliens. Uh, this latest sequel re uh, reps the finale for the entire franchise. Crystal Skull opened on Thursday over Memorial Day weekend, earning a total of five days, 151. I, I know it was huge, 151 million back then. Um, so they said that uh, Doll of Destiny is tracking significantly with older guys over younger. And many is comparing it. Many are comparing it to uh, No Time to Die. Which, you know... Yeah, because the only ones that, you know, most people that are younger don't give two shits about Indiana Jones unless they're trying to re to redo it to yeah. for their own clout. For modern, for modern uh, audiences. Yeah, and the ones that do care about it, this might be tracking higher with them, but it's not like it should be because you're basically... this like sometimes you just need to stop, you know? And I think that's what people are at. Look, they kept making all kinds of excuses. I have not seen No Time to Die. I have no desire. I'm not watching it. To watch oh, it. There, oh, that's that one where the, she was in that one too, where she wrote that one, yeah, that Waller yeah. Bridge, the yeah. Waller Bridge. Oh, yeah. Why don't you, I think I guess if you want to kill a franchise, you put her in it. Yeah. Why hasn't she done her own Star Wars trilogy yet? Her and Ryan Johnson, they that's could get right. together and, and do the bestest Star Wars ever, the bestest ever. She was she was in Star Wars though. She was that obnoxious droid and Solo. Everybody hated. That was her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so they basically ripped her brains out and stuck it inside the Falcon. So that's what the Falcon sounds like, I guess, when when three. So PM basically, she's going franchise to franchise, and then she's like the 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 feminist yeah. franchise person. That's all. About. It, it's all. It says that on now. her card. It says that on her card. Phoebe Waller Bridge, feminist franchise person. Mm -hmm. So basically, if you want to fucking ruin a franchise, you bring her in and say, "Here you go, and carte that, blanche, bitch." And it says that in quotes too. If you want to fucking ruin a franchise, just give me a call, mm -hmm. Phoebe. Anyway, um, some are saying a 70 million start for Dollar Destiny. It's still bad. That's quite a stretch. Ooh. That's quite a stretch. They were saying that the Flash opening the 70s is bad. This is an Indiana Jones movie, for God's sake. Realize that Lionsgate's John Wick Chapter 4 opened to 73 with double the tracking. Double the tracking metrics. That's what I'm saying. It's early. That's what I, 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 I you can't really go by this stuff, you know, full cloth because you know, you don't know. It's, it, it's still weeks and weeks away. I mean, at the end of the month. So we still have, what, the 30th? Yeah. So there's still a lot of time. There's, still, there's still like three weeks. It could change. Disney's got to come up with a rent. Disney. At the end of the month. What's Disney going to do to make those numbers go up? Um, I know they're running advertisements for it in front of like the movies I saw with Little Mermaid. Yeah. They had it in front of that. Of course they are. Of course yeah, they are. they're trying. So Disney's going to have to pick up the slack uh, in their marketing to get more interest from younger guys. Oh, good luck with that. Good luck with that. You've got an 80-year-old dude and an obnoxious feminist. Those are the leads in your movie. That's that's. Here's an idea. Really you know how you get people to come to your movie, especially younger people, younger guys? You make it a good movie, and you make it fun, and you take agenda shit out of it. And then they're just like, hot damn, yeah. And tits. But, you know. Lots of tits. But, you know, well, you can get some girls in the movie that way, too. Well, not tits on indie, you know, because I know he's, old, he's like 80, but... <laughs> Proper tips. That's not what we meant. That's not what we meant. No, I'm just saying, you just make a good movie that's you know looks like fun and adventure, and it's not, not agenda driven. And I'm sorry. I mean, I love Harrison Ford and I love Indiana Jones. I do, but I'm sorry. I don't think people want to see eighty some year old Indiana Jones. I want to see him with an eye patch, and I want to see the ending. Yes, of that you know, and that that made perfect sense. You could have walked away from it after the young Indiana Jones Chronicles. We know how his story supposedly ended, and and that's it. You know. I don't want to see him in the 60s getting run down by Phoebe Waller-Bridge. No. No one wants to see him getting beat you down know? by her. Nobody wants to see him getting beat down. Well, okay. So, spoiler. 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 Am I, am I giving enough I already enough mentioned more? it, but go ahead. Spoiler. 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 I didn't spoil, say spoiler when I said it. Whatever. Nobody's going to go watch a shit anyway. But, uh, yeah. So, apparently, Indy and Marion, even though that was like oh, a highlight okay, of yeah. Crystal Skull, it's the Han Solo situation again. Apparently, they were split up. And Mutt's dead and all this shit. Yeah, because you can't have people be happy. You can't have people be happy. You have to give them a, a satisfying, happy ending that you can just later, especially when it comes to Lucasfilm, rip apart so you can redo it and vilify the main characters everybody loves for a new feminist shitty chick that shows up. And then, you know, they get their happy ending, the new, the new person. And that's, you know, yay. They get to walk away with everything. Does she get the name too? Is she, oh, is she, what is her character now? What's her name? So... At the end of this movie, she's no longer Helena Shaw. She's going to be Helena Jones. And well, that was what people thought. They thought that, that she was going to walk away with the hat and everything. Still not convinced she doesn't. 
Oh my god! But they, I think they, when they had to do reshoots, I kind of wonder if that's what they changed. Well, but. okay. If if the rumors are true, if Mutt is dead, he tried to take the hat. Maybe whoever wears the hat dies in the next movie. So maybe it's good if she takes the hat. I don't you know. know. It's I'm in, just the cursed hat of Indiana Jones or something. That's a whole other series. Um, oh my god! I can see Disney doing something really schlocky like that. Like, oh, it's an anthology series where everybody gets to wear the hat, and then the wind like blows the hat to a new character, and they pick it up and they have an adventure. And then when their oh, adventure's over, they would do over, that. They would do that. It'd be magical. It'd be like Disney. You hear a little like Disney doodle 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 so music anybody, as the hat's blowing through the it's air. It's like the broom kid. Anybody can be Indiana Jones. Anybody can be Indiana Jones. It's so easy to just be an archaeologist. Yeah, you can be Indiana Jones, you can be Hannah Montana, you can be, you know, whatever. Whatever you want to be. Whatever you want to be. Oh my God, they would do that. They would make it worse. Anyway, back to the point. Back to the point. Point is, this this shit's not going to make money. That's the point. They said with Dollar Destiny at uh, 60 million for three days, that's easily the second best Star Wars. Wait, yeah, okay, 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 bullshit. That's easily the second best start for Indiana Jones. The other movies came out in the 1980s. There's this thing called inflation. If we go out and use the inflation calculator, $42 million in 1984 would be the equivalent of $122 million. Right. Now, they're not, they're not saying, like, it's it's the second best opening, They do everybody. this shit all the time. They do this all the time. That they compare apples to apples. Like they were doing it with a Little Mermaid Aladdin, but if you just for inflation, that wasn't the case. Right, right. Um, but they always never just for inflation. It's the second biggest opening. Yeah, bullshit. You're talking like 30, 40 years ago. I mean, a dollar then is considered significantly different in value than a dollar today. This this is going to hurt it. The fact that they let people put the reviews out there as early they, as they, they shouldn't did. shouldn't have done that. Uh, because what is going to happen now is people have a month plus to think about it and be like 50%. Oh, that's shit. Oh, <laughs> plus the last one was bad. Plus Phoebe Waller-Bridge is annoying as fuck. Yeah, I'm not going to this movie. Plus, the I'm audience score will probably be locked, the verified audience, and 95% for weeks. Like, we can't, like, two oh, weeks until sure. we see everybody I'm else. Sure. I'm sure. So yeah, this is uh, this is not a good not a good look, Disney. What are the top What are the top critics say? Forty percent for the top critics. Yeah, this is. There's no good way to spin this. Nobody wanted this movie. Nobody wants to see people. Just you want to see your heroes. You don't want to see them. You want to see them. You want to remember them as they were. And, and I guess that's kind of the plot of the movie. My understanding is like Indy wants to relive his glory days, but I'm like. Let us have Indiana Jones in his prime forever. You know, let's let's just pretend that that character existed in the 1930s, 1940s. He was an adventurer, a product of his time. I do not want to see him transported to the 1960s. It doesn't make sense. No. We don't need this movie. We don't need this movie. We did not need three Star Wars sequels, you know, that were terrible. That right. were terrible and just... You know, this is just about money. This is Disney. This is the well, idea. Well, people, are, it stays, the box office stays that way, which it might go up, might go down. It's too early to tell, to be honest. Then the, the audience is telling Disney and Lucasfilm that we don't want this stuff. Stop doing it. But they've been telling them that and they keep doubling, tripling down on it. And then Kathleen Kennedy keeps her job for whatever flipping reason I cannot understand. I, I have no idea, guys. That's okay. They're working on firing her. It's just going to take a very, very long time. That's right. Uh, anyway, are we going to wrap this up? Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Sorry, I, I yelled loudly. That's okay. I got I got the limiter on. Okay. So uh, you can the tell my kick setting. Yeah, you can you can sell so, you can Wait, tell. Really, it automatically limits it when it, I yell. It does when you get when the pitch gets too high. It it <laughs> it does. When sometimes if you sound like all robotic, it's oh because it's, it's bringing the decibels down. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.